Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Emma. I'm an illustrator, an Etsy shop owner, and I also make studio vlogs. I make studio vlogs where I show like the behind the scenes of running an Etsy business and also different projects I'm working on, like the book illustration project I'm doing, and also the process of like designing new products and just kind of general like life stuff in between as well. This video is also a collaboration with the lovely April, who goes by Monkey Mintaka. I think I actually said that right, hopefully, fingers crossed. And she's doing a whole video about how to edit studio vlogs. Go watch her video, I'm gonna have it linked in the description down below. But yeah, so as I've been making studio vlogs for quite a long time now, I thought I would share my experience and share some tips and tricks um, in case you want to start making your own studio vlogs because I know it can be really daunting to start with. Back in the day I would watch Fran and Holly Exley and yeah I just I loved that their videos so much. It was pretty much just them doing studio vlogs and I'm so pleased that they kind of like started the trend because yeah so many more people are making studio vlogs now. Before I actually started doing my first studio vlog I was thinking is anybody gonna want to watch this and I was having all the like imposter syndrome that you can imagine yeah I was thinking like can I do this like does anybody want to watch me draw <laughs> and like talk about my life and stuff so tip number one if you want to start making studio vlogs is just go ahead and start and just have a go at it because I know it can seem like really really daunting and I've definitely been there and I've watched like loads of other people for years making studio vlogs and I've just been kind of like a big old lurker and yeah then one day I decided that I kind of wanted to like join the community as well and actually make studio vlogs and yeah like help other people as well just decided I was gonna film something and like I could always delete it I didn't need to post it I would definitely recommend just turning like your camera or your phone on and just getting started I <laughs> probably have so many bits that I cut out of my videos yeah editing can make <laughs> a bad video good so you don't need to worry about like stumbling over your words you can say things again and again sometimes it's nice though to keep in like a little bit of, sort of that a little bit of messing up but yeah you definitely don't need to be perfect so don't worry about like keeping some like silly bits in because I think that can definitely make you seem more human and like people can relate to you more. Yeah you don't need to be like a different version of yourself as well. I know sometimes people think YouTubers have to be like really energetic and have loads and loads of energy but I think different people like different styles of YouTube videos. I love Holly Exley's videos and she's like I always find her really relatable and like down to earth um I said earth really funny then you know she's not like bouncing off the walls and like really really hyper I'd say just get into the habit of filming yourself regularly yeah you could even do like test filming there's that tip of imagine you're talking to a friend which I think is like really really helpful if you have somebody else to film with it's sometimes quite nice to do that because that can definitely make you seem a lot more natural than if you're just talking to the camera and I think studio vlogs are also generally a little bit more natural and kind of seeing like the real life stuff as well but yeah sometimes I have Tom in my videos and I definitely find it a lot easier to just talk to the camera when I have him there because I yeah I think you're just not thinking about what you're saying so much and you're just kind of yeah you're just reacting to the other person and having a conversation so yeah that's something you could do even if the other person doesn't want to be filmed you could maybe just have them in the room and then you could kind of talk as if you're talking to that other person turn the camera on and just start like telling people about your day and what you're doing I like to show like the whole sort of process 
of like projects that I'm working on so if I'm designing a new like enamel pin or something I will show like the step by step process and I'll sort of show like what I'm thinking of at the time so if I've made any like changes to the design then I like to show that. Tip number two is definitely show your face so this kind of relates to tip number one of you know just start filming but yeah I think people definitely like to see faces it makes things a lot more relatable and if you're like a little bit self-conscious you know definitely don't worry because everybody is self-conscious at first when they start filming I remember listening to myself talk um editing my first video and you know when you're not used to watching yourself and listening to yourself talk sometimes it can feel a little bit weird and I remember being a little bit self-conscious and then I think on one of my first videos somebody said that they loved my accent and then yeah that just like really made my day so yeah people in the art community especially are just so lovely um I don't think I've hardly got any negative comments I definitely put your face in the thumbnails as well because I'm always more drawn to thumbnails with faces in them. Yeah, and also people might start to recognize your face after a while. Yeah, so if you are a bit shy, maybe you could just test out filming like an intro and an outro and then the rest of your video could just be you talking with like shots of you drawing or something like that. Yeah, if you find that that makes it a little bit easier. I think people definitely want to hear you talk and yeah, see your face a little bit, even if it is in the intro and the outro. I think it just helps people connect with you a little bit more. So on the subject of thumbnails, something that I should really do myself is take photos, especially for the thumbnail, because <laughs> there's been so many times when I've edited the whole video, it's all ready to go up, and then I've been like, oh, I don't have the thumbnail. And then you're going through your video and you're trying to pause it at a point where you kind of look like happy or at least like you know that it's an interesting thumbnail and the, there's so many points where I pause myself and I'm just like mid talking I bet you if you pause the video right now while I'm speaking <laughs> it will probably not be a good thumbnail picture but yeah sometimes I do use screenshots for my thumbnails and sometimes those turn out better than the posed photos but it's always just a good idea to have these backup photos just in case you go through your whole video <laughs> and like there's literally nothing you can use. You could even just have the camera still recording and just like, you know, pose with your cup of tea or whatever, uh, your pencils, your like sketchbook or whatever it is that the subject is of the video. Thumbnails are kind of another way of like storytelling as well and I think that's kind of how I see YouTube it's kind of like doing your own like little story or like movie and yeah you get to like edit it how you want and yeah so your thumbnails a little bit like the book cover to kind of like entice people in so yeah you definitely want to make your thumbnail um, exciting to look at you want it to stand out but it's also probably a good idea to keep it fairly simple um, which is sometimes difficult to like find that balance but yeah just remember it's gonna be like this big <laughs> when people see it so yeah it needs to stand out and it needs to be easy to read yeah so the nature of studio vlogs is generally that you film them over a week although you definitely don't have to do them over a week you could do them over a day or a couple of days yeah sometimes it's nice to have a little bit longer time so you don't have to rely on getting like all your footage in just one day but yeah so what i usually do is i film throughout the week and just like pick up the camera when something interesting is happening um or i sort of have like an idea for like the projects i'm doing sometimes i do like packing footage so as i'm packing orders i'll just like film that 
and I try and film a few different shots so I'll try and film some like action shots where you can see my face and then some different like close-ups as well. Yeah, so I filmed on my phone for a really long time. Yeah, you don't need to go out and buy any expensive tech. And then when I did actually move up to getting a camera, so I have the G7X, um, which is quite a popular like vlogging camera. Um, and it's got like one of those little flippy screen things. And I actually got this second hand off eBay. So yeah, when you do decide that you want to get like a camera or something, you don't need to get it brand new. You could get it second hand. Um, yes, that's definitely a good idea. Yeah, I'll show you the tripod system that I use as well. And I actually got this idea from Mini Small, who I think got it from another artist, <laughs> but I will leave the link to that video in the description. It's basically a much cheaper option of having like a sort of tripod arm thing that you can use for doing like overhead shots, but you have to kind of put it together from a few different parts. But yeah, definitely would recommend. I've also got this little tripod, which is very handy. And it's got like bendy legs. I need to remember what the brand is of this. It's similar to like those little they like gorilla things but it's not. I've also got like a phone mount for this as well. But yeah having the overhead tripod is definitely really handy because that doesn't get in the way when I'm drawing and I can also just position it around to get like different angles which is really really handy. The other thing I'd say is you don't necessarily need to film everything so you don't need to film the whole process of doing a drawing. If you're filming stuff like making a cup of tea and doing other little sort of like b-roll footage you don't need to film the whole process of making a cup of tea like just a few small shots here and there kind of like set the scene it definitely saved time because the longer you spend filming <laughs> the longer you've then got to look through the footage and like chop it down as well okay tip number i have no idea <laughs> because i've lost i've lost track film in advance so how do you film in advance if you do studio vlogs because it's a little bit harder than being a normal youtuber because you can't sit down and like batch film a load of studio vlogs except in some ways you can so you can film things a week or a couple of weeks ahead so you're not like trying to upload it at the last minute but yeah i think when you start making studio vlogs when you've done your first video you don't need to post it straight away i'd say schedule it for a couple of weeks and then have a couple of videos um ready to go so you're not like scrambling around last minute trying to get these videos up i think it's also a good idea to film some other videos in between like q and a's chatty sit downs with cups of tea you can film them anytime and then you can like schedule these out or you can save them if you need a holiday or a day off because you're ill if you've filmed like quite a lot in a week and your video is going to be really really long just make it two videos this is something that i've done sometimes and yeah it just means that you're a video ahead so then you can have um like a week off of filming or yeah take a holiday or something which is really really great would recommend <laughs> taking some time off when you can um also i'd say even if you don't have these extra videos and you need to take the time off definitely take the time off um because yeah it's always like self-care is very important yeah it's also really good to be consistent i know this is something you will probably hear loads of other youtubers saying um but yeah it's good to have a set day and also even a set time so i upload videos every wednesday at 11 a.m greenwich mean time because i'm in the uk and yeah then people know when to expect videos from you so like i said it's definitely a good idea to have some videos already scheduled out so that it's a lot easier to be consistent so now you've filmed your whole video and you've got some clips of your face 
and clips of you talking and some close-ups now it's time to like put it all together so i'm not going to go into lots of like technical detail because april is going to do a much better job of that so yeah i will definitely be linking her video in the description but i'll just tell you some of the things that i like to do kind of like stylistically when i edit my videos so one of the things that i do is i always start with a little bit of music and a few clips of the video so this is kind of like a teaser of what's coming up in my video yeah i'll just include a couple of clips of either me like drawing or like a close-up of some products and like packing footage and they'll only be like a couple of seconds yeah so this is kind of like the hook to like get people interested in the video you don't have to start your video like this um, but this this is something that i just quite enjoy with my videos so one of the things i really enjoy about editing is adding music and i usually use thematic for my music so it's actually free not sponsored i just think that they're an amazing like free option but yeah and you can like search on there for like different styles of music and then you just need to credit them in the description so if you have a look down at my description you'll see the music that i have used in this video one tip i would give you with music is definitely make a note when you download it of who the artist is just in case it's not already on the file name just <laughs> and like where you got it from as well because otherwise it can you know be a bit confusing if you end up with hundreds and hundreds of files of different songs and you've no idea where they came from you could also get a little bit extra geeky and like categorize the music into like you know calm music or like upbeat music for like you know music for time lapses and music for i don't know intro music or whatever but yeah i just i love how much music can like change the mood and so like if something's funny is happening you can like put some like kind of comical music in there or if like you've got some packing footage you can make it like nice and calm but yeah i think it just all adds to like that storytelling aspect so i'm gonna leave the rest of the editing tips to april um but i just want to give you one last tip and that's don't expect to get loads and loads of views overnight I know sometimes we see people that like they seem to like just start on youtube or just start whatever like maybe just start an etsy shop or just start drawing it seems and they seem to do like really well straight away but the majority of people it does take a long time to build these things up and like unless you're starting with a really big audience um it's probably likely that it's going to be slow going to start with it took me a really really long time to i think even get my first like 100 subscribers and yeah and i'm still a small channel but i am noticing how i'm growing and the thing that i love the most is just getting comments and yeah we seem to have like a really lovely community here yeah it's nice to like have a chat and to see the same faces coming back and yeah you feel like you start to get to know people a little bit as well in the comments which is really really lovely but yeah so i hope that that was helpful i hope it wasn't too much information and too overwhelming if you just stick with tip number one of just start talking to the camera and then you can like build up. You don't need to do everything perfect straight away. I mean, I still don't do don't do things perfect. And I've actually started adding bloopers to my videos <laughs> because um, when I'm editing, I just notice that sometimes I like stumble over my words or just do like funny things. So if you want to see in a minute all of the you know times where i've messed up you will see that <laughs> don't worry about being perfect just have a go yeah my first videos weren't great <laughs> but like yeah you improve over time and you get better at talking to the camera you get better at editing and yeah speaking of editing i had a lot of questions from people asking how long editing takes and yeah do i have any 
like tips on editing and that is where I'm gonna hand over to April uh, from Monkey Min, Min oh no I had it <laughs> I'm gonna hand over to April from Monkey Mintaka so her video is gonna be on the screen after the bloopers and it's also gonna be in the description but yes I am sending you lots and lots of love I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video okay bye I sneezed when I was putting my mascara on and I ended up with panda eyes. What is my fringe doing? So yeah, <laughs> Tom's outside, <laughs> he can hear me talking. <laughs> I say so yeah so much. When I edit my videos, I'm just cutting out yeah, but, so, yeah, um, <laughs> what else Tom? And, um, but yeah, and, uh, da -da -da -da. um, yeah, and, um, 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 do you want to come in? Do you want to say hi? Are you just the voice of us? Um, what was I saying, Tom? Well, you were saying you love Holly Exley. I was saying I love Holly Exley. Of course I was saying I love Holly Exley. <laughs> okay, Tom, I'm, I'm, I'm talking now. I'm doing it. Cool. What, what, are you, what are you doing? Are you in the toilet? <laughs> come here, I can't see you. You look really dark in the corner. Okay, I do. Can be dark. Okay, hi. I think my camera angle is going to be changed now because Tom just walked in. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.